Hello, welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries from Matt's Shed with Matt, who doesn't want to do the talking, so I'm going to do the talking, but I take no credit for this because it's all Matt's excellent work. First of all, have a quick look at this handle because we love our handle. This is a spare handle that was kicking around at Bob's place and... Uh, and Bob says, you got any use for this handle? Matt says, yeah, I oh know, just the place. And it works absolutely a treat, pulling the quill down on the bridge port, which, if you remember, there were two bridge ports in here, and we've cannibalised them. We, 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 Matt, yes. Matt's done all the work again. Cannibalised the two to make one lovely machine. But anyway, I digress. Back to the job in hand. We've got set up on Matt's um, XYZ mill. What is this? It's a... Gates. A Gates. A Gates Mill, Optimus Prime Gates Mill. Uh, and we're going to start sort of setting up and just thinking about putting the splines on our bar. So Matt's made a test piece, so we can do a test cut on that first, check the program works, run the exact same program on the real piece. This is cutting the splines here and on the end for the main gear shaft in um, our homemade gearbox. So what we're going to do after we've clocked it on is we'll run the cutter down this side of the job, index it by 30 degrees, run the cutter down again, index it by 30 degrees. Each time we index it using this um, stepper motor we lock it off because there's a bit of backlash so we make sure it's all locked off uh, and then we bring the cutter over to the other side of the job come in from the other side and do a cut, index 30 degrees and so on. And what that's doing is here in this kind of uh, mock-up here. So when we come from one side, the cutter comes in here and cuts this edge of this spline all the way down. And then when we index 30 degrees, it cuts the same edge of this spline and then it cuts the same edge of that spline until we've gone all the way round. Then when we move the cutter to the other side of the job, it's coming in here and it cuts this edge of this spline and then it will cut this edge of this spline, that edge of that spline and so on. And you're left with a little uh, sort of triangular piece in the middle and then we run a straight mill cutter right down the center and then you've got the right angles on the splines you've got the um, um, a, a little bit of this inner diameter is missing but that's fine because splines locate on the outer diameter not on the inner diameter and that gives you a nice clean finish so by running the program on this job which is two size then we run the same we can measure it we can do a test fit then we run it on this uh, piece which is slightly oversized because as we've discussed before the heat treatment may warp it slightly and we grind it to two size afterwards so we can't do a trial fit on the actual job but we can do a trial fit on that job and that's what we intend to do so um, in true kind of managerial fashion I'm off down the pub now while Matt does all the hard work and uh, when we've got some more to show I'll drop another update on as usual thank you for watching more updates or follow